what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl liz back with another reaction video so we're going straight into the nukes top five video and this one is top 10 ghost videos to scare you silly now let's get into it top 10 ghosts caught on camera desecrated Japanese paranormal YouTube channel Fourth Wall has been sent several videos taken at the same cemetery somewhere in Japan. The graveyard is said to be haunted by the tragic ghost of a little boy who drowned in a pond 30 years ago. His parents laid him to rest in the cemetery and commissioned a beautiful statue of their son to be placed at his gravesite to honor and remember him. Late one night, heartless vandals desecrated the grave, destroying the statue and stealing its head. Since then, local legend says that the headless spirit of the child roams the graveyard, forever looking for his missing head. In September of 2015, a CCTV camera at the cemetery records this shocking footage. creepy. I just got chills. <laughs> In the dead of night, a shadow-like figure can be seen walking along the graves. After word of this disturbingly creepy video spread, a Japanese ghost hunter decided to investigate the cemetery for himself. Of course. It did not go well. The ghost hunter hears something and turns to see an odd white apparition, but he whips back around and nothing there. He seems to think he imagined it, but when he turns toward the other end of the cemetery row, the apparition is now right in front of him. In abject terror, he makes a run for it. So could it be that these strange figures are the spirit of the little boy forever wandering the cemetery? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full video and many more spooky Japanese ghost videos over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. Croatian Creeper. Popular YouTuber Dennis Domian sets out to explore the Brebeer Cemetery in his hometown of Brebeer, Croatia for his quote, scary bedtime stories video series. He says that throughout his childhood, the cemetery has always given him the creeps. And even now he feels uncomfortable just being there. In the dead of night, he gives a video tour through the graveyard when suddenly he records something that's that's just unnerving. Okay, lagano ida mirim feeling koda nisam sam. Did you see it? Someone or some strange distorted figure can be seen standing amongst the graves. But when Dennis turns back, it's gone. Throughout the video, it can be seen that the small cemetery is completely empty and Dennis swears he was all alone. So just who or what is this strange distorted thing? What if it's another explorer? <laughs> the ghost of the mosh pit. Now, most of the time we think of creepy paranormal video as occurring in the dark and maybe in creepy old abandoned places. But here's a video that's from a live daytime heavy metal music festival in San Bernardino, California in 2011. And just watch very closely because it's about to get weird. So 
a very big guy goes charging into the mosh pit when suddenly he seems to get clotheslined by someone or something that is completely invisible and he goes flying backwards. Now, that would be weird enough, but, but his again. friend helps him up and then he seems to get forcefully yanked backwards again by some unseen force. Oh. He even seems to get dragged backwards That's along the ground. So is this just the ghost of an angry metal fan? Is this guy just an incredible mime? Or no, what happened there. here? There's something there for you sure. tell me. Caught on camera. Instagram user Satanic Tacos, aka Heather, says she is skeptical of all things paranormal and doesn't believe in the afterlife or ghosts. But late one night, her one year old son wakes up very upset and doesn't stop crying for over two hours. Bizarrely, the motion detectors on the CCTV cameras around Heather's house were going off too. She checked her recorded CCTV footage, and to her shock, just after her child starts crying, one of the cameras outside catches something downright creepy. A strange translucent figure seems to appear right out of the wall of the lower deck and can be seen walking through the snow away from the house. Heather says she has no idea what this could be and is a little freaked out about the timing with her son's crying. Now, as for myself, usually I would just say that this is a compression error in the camera and that it's blurring a person who is walking in darkness. But everything else here in the video is perfectly clear and the footage is well lit. That's creepy. So I'm a bit confused myself. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The girl on the road. Now this next creepy video was sent in by a very nice Nukes Top 5 viewer, but it's an old clip and the source is unknown. The video is believed to have been recorded in the West Java area of Indonesia and it shows two men encountering something horrifying on the road. <laughs> The two men pray continuously as they encounter what looks to be an extremely pale figure of a little girl. Even more terrifying, as they get closer, the figure seems to float up into the night sky above them. Now because I don't know the actual source of this video, it's impossible to check its legitimacy in any way. But real or not, it's definitely very creepy. And it certainly shocked me when I first watched it. I was not expecting the flying. Crying in the dark. Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies set out to investigate an old house in Manitoba, Canada that's believed to be haunted. The story goes that in the 1960s, a woman named Rachel discovered that her husband of only two months had run off with another woman. It is said that neighbors heard Rachel sobbing uncontrollably shortly before taking her own life. Cut to current day. It is said that in the house, lights turn on and off by themselves. Strange written notes have been left behind and loud disembodied sobbing has been heard coming from the basement. Not long after the paranormies start their overnight investigation, the guys decide to head down into the gloomy basement. That's when investigator Johnny hears and captures something downright chilling. Who was that? You heard something? <laughs> yeah, it sounded like a kid's voice. It said, ready. What did it say earlier? Did it say child? child? Yeah, it did say it child. It sounded like a kid's voice coming from down here. I don't know if I want to turn these lights off. I was going to turn them off.
Johnny is shocked when he hears the sound of sobbing coming from somewhere down in the basement. The guys now believe that the spirit of Rachel might be with them. Meanwhile, earlier in the investigation, the paranormy set up three separate motion-activated REM pod devices on the main floor of the house. As they're investigating down in the basement, they hear something truly bizarre. You heard that footsteps, footsteps upstairs? I heard it. Grab pod. And then another one. The investigators hear footsteps right above them and a static camera records as two motion activated REM pod devices are triggered by something moving around on the main floor. Then a light turns on and off on its own. Jordan and Johnny decide to set up a laser grid and point it towards the kitchen and living room on the main floor, right beside the basement stairs. As they are discussing just what might be going on in the house, they capture something very disturbing. Even when I said, okay, it did RAC, am I okay? Like, thank you. Like, I don't need you to. So you want, what, what, what? Shut up. What did you see? I heard the wrong A guy. shadow. Really? Rachel, are you right here? From here, from here, this way? Like, over this way or that way? Between the letters. Even when I said, okay, it did RAC, am I okay? Like, thank you. Like, I don't need you to. An odd misshapen shadow figure darts across the ceiling in the living room right in front of Johnny. The two investigators rush over to check out the area, but find nothing and no one. So just what is this? Did the Paranormies team capture the distraught spirit of Rachel? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full investigation and many more spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Caught in the headlights. Now this next video is not in any way related to the paranormal. It's actually the official music video of a very popular Mexican rap group called Cartel de Santa and it's been viewed over 64 million times on YouTube. But many confused fans pointed out something very spooky that happens near the beginning of the music video. Pay very close attention. Did you see it? In front of the car, the headlights illuminate some bald grayish figure crouching in the bushes that suddenly stands up to look at the couple before quickly disappearing. Many fans believe that the rappers might have accidentally recorded something paranormal on camera. But of course, this could simply be a crew member that was accidentally caught in the video shot. But if it's a crew member, that leads to many questions. Like, why is he gray? Why is he crouching in the bushes? Why does it look like he's not wearing a shirt? And why does he move in such an odd and creepy way? Even after the many confused questions and comments, the group has never released a statement about who or what this could be. So for now, the identity of this man, or whatever that is in the bushes, remains a mystery. Bewitched. Now this next video is one of the strangest paranormal videos I've ever seen. So TikTok user Luca from Nashville, Tennessee is out delivering packages one day when he suddenly spots something very bizarre in the skies above. Hey, so out making deliveries and what is this? There's a floating broom. What? Look, look, it's just floating. I, like seriously, there's no wire. There's nothing it's connected to. It's, what, what is that? Seriously, it's just fl and it's moving too. Now I'm honestly not sure what to make of this video. This object 
that does look very much like a floating broom is obviously not a kite or a balloon, and it doesn't appear to be suspended by wires or a drone. If it's CGI, then it would take a visual effects expert to track this effect in with such a shaky camera. Also, Luca has no other videos that contain any CGI or anything even remotely paranormal. Luca claims that the video is 100% Real. Like By the way, it was a floating broom. I did not see any wires. There was no drone. I gave a pretty good view above and below it. Guys, I swear on my life, there was nothing above it or below it. I, I, it, it was a floating broom. I don't know if somebody was doing a voodoo spell or if it was a... It was a floating broom. I, I've never seen anything That's like crazy. it. I don't ever want to see anything like it again. It was real. I, I don't do CGI. I don't know how to do that. Uh, it was a floating broom, okay? <laughs> I'm just as stumped as you are. I was just, I happened to be the person that rolled up on it. So I have no idea what this could be. Is it supernatural? Is it a quote glitch in the matrix? Or is it just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. I'm gonna have to do some research on that. Followed. Ghost Hunter Martin from the YouTube channel Martin's Junction sets out to explore the abandoned and allegedly haunted Nepali house in the middle of the jungle in India. The house is so secluded and hidden away that the only way to get to it is by crossing a slippery log over a river. Before he heads out, Martin sets up a static night vision camera at the log to record as he makes his way towards the house. Now the house is empty and full of bats, lizards, and snakes. So after a bad fall, Mothin decides to head back home, but something might have followed him. As Mothin attempts to cross back over the log, things take a terrifying turn. Something dark seems to be lurking in the jungle behind Martin, but every time the ghost hunter checks the area behind him with his flashlight, whatever it is has disappeared. The mysterious figure appears several times and disappears just as fast. So what do you think happened to Martin? Did he fall by accident or did some dark vengeful spirit follow him back from the house? Let me know. The Abandoned Asylum Lead paranormal investigator Kaylee Love from the YouTube channel Love to Investigate reached out to me about a very creepy video she recorded in an old abandoned mental asylum in South Wales, UK. Kaylee says that she was alone with a fellow investigator exploring one of the decaying asylum's many buildings. Without knowing, she captures something absolutely chilling. The bathroom we got the That's pretty cool, that is. It smells like an hospital in this park, definitely. Did you see it? At the end of the hallway in front of Kaylee and her team member, someone appears to be standing there, just watching her, before simply disappearing around the corner. Kaylee says she didn't see anyone there at the time. In fact, the odd figure was actually pointed out by viewers in her YouTube comments. So could this be the spirit of a patient who tragically passed away at the abandoned mental asylum? I leave it up to you to decide. That's pretty cool, that is. 
smells like an hospital in this park, definitely. Thanks so much for watching. Please. Okay, finally, we get a recent Nukes Top 5 done. Oh, this was top 10 ghost videos. So, uh, yeah, so this had a huge creep factor. Like, I don't know if you guys could see, but I had goosebumps all over my arms and shivers from some of these stories. It's just crazy. Like, I know that there are some of you that are looking at this video and thinking, Liz, this stuff is totally fake. But let me tell you guys, from my own personal experiences, I can see how some of this stuff is real. Until you see it or experience it in person, you can't possibly think that all of this stuff is fake. You just can't. If you've never experienced it before, you can't say that it's fake, especially to people who have experienced it. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to try to do another video for you guys, maybe a uh, spicy horror. But I think I'm also going to record, if not today, maybe tomorrow, I have some personal stories that I need to catch up on with you guys. I have a part two to the Shadow Men video that I did and also some stories that's current. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I will catch you at the next one.